All right, so today is August 26th. Ugh. Gotta keep the face covered up, not just the sun, but the flies are bad. And uh, today, back on the water again, and it was an okay day. So what happens on these smaller tides is the fish just do not move very much. So they're just barely flushing in and out. The river turns into almost a lake with very little flow. Now the current's only going one and a half, two miles an hour. Uh, during max ebb even so these fish just really don't get pushed around and pushed into corners and they they just don't become very active so it's a little bit tougher to target these fish um, and also because chinook is closed we're not going up to tongue point where during this tide set there would be a lot of fish because we don't want to go up there and just catch chinook we're here to target coho uh, so because of all that we stayed down in the, in the lower section and I stayed on the Oregon side A few of my guide buddies were on the Washington side and we all have pretty much the same report We all caught fish. It was a fun day handful of schnook fair amount of coho But not red hot and we probably won't see that really good coho bite again for another two three four days as the tides get bigger We're gonna see those fish moving around more more fish flushing in from the ocean these tides uh, the coho like these bigger tides so right now, what I'm gonna be doing, what I did today, and what I'll probably do again tomorrow, is just target the areas between uh, Young's Bay and Tongue Point. Um, those areas have net pens for the commercial guys. They have a lot of coho coming in there. So I'll just be trying to pick off those coho before they go up uh, around Tongue Point and into Young's Bay. However, the guys that fished Ilwaco, Marker 1, Age Eddy, all the way up to Marker 7, Mouth of Chinook, uh, sound like they actually probably had a little bit better bite today than we did on the Oregon side. Uh, but every day is different. We'll see. Today we actually got a lot of fish suspended. We got a handful of fish on the bottom in 40 feet of water like we have been, but today was the first day I was actually catching a lot of fish at my normal numbers, the 16, 18, 20 feet on, on the line counter. And same deal as usual, running a green machine in red October. Our very first fish was caught on pawn shop this morning. Then when the sun got high, I switched up to all green machine in red October. And spin fish stuff with the fish nip, definitely putting fish nip inside of it is helping. Um, adding that super Duncan sauce and sardine tuna is making it the right consistency and allowing that bait to last a really long time. So if you don't have the spin fish, that's fine. Like I mentioned in earlier videos, just run your Brad super baits, uh, but definitely get that fish nip. It will help and it is a lot cheaper than going out and buying bait and it will last a long time in the bait. I think I only changed baits out two or three times today and that's because that oil just keeps coming out of it. You can see that oil slick behind the bait when you put it in there. So, I don't know, kind of just in the doldrums of the tides right now. We have this happen every single year and hopefully in the next two, three, four days as the tides get bigger, we'll start catching more and more fish. And as we get closer to September, that coho rodeo should really ramp up. So that is our report for today. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Here we go.